I've seen an elephant identify a pregnant person. I saw an elephant walk up to a woman, touch her on the stomach, and then like call the other elephants and be like, wow. yo, this one's pregnant. And they all started, they knew shit that we don't know. She was like, this is cool. She has a baby. And they were like more careful. The elephant thing is so bizarre because they recognize each other after decades of being apart. They're so smart that I think when I look at an elephant, I see a non-human being. I don't look at it like uh, there's animals and there's cockroaches and there's dogs and there's rhinos and cows and all that shit. That's fine. When I look at an elephant, I look at it and I'm like, you, they treat you like an animal, but they shouldn't. I've seen mm. them do things that are so intelligent. I've seen them be so compassionate that I think that we are just not smart enough to understand how smart that they are. Mm. And, and Just and, because they're not changing their environment and typing things and we just have a distorted idea yeah. of intelligence i think that yeah well like you said it, your intelligence is the ability to interact with your environment and survive in it and it's like they've gardened all of the habitat that they exist in like when you watch an elephant twisting branches and creating that that environment and they're going and grazing around on, on everything and moving that forest and there's mushrooms growing out of their the piles of shit that they leave and it's just like there's so much elephant dung and there's so much complex structure and and the thing is as a human usually what we do is we watch either we watch elephants in the zoo where you're looking at basically like a mentally deranged elephant that's been kept in a box its whole life or you're in like a game drive vehicle and you drive up to elephants in the field and they're like, ah, shit, humans. And then they like walk off. Mm -hmm. Very rarely do we get to see human um, elephants alone in nature problem solving. And so like then you'll get these articles where scientists will be like, we gave elephants like a, a key and a lock and so many of them couldn't figure it out. It's like, well, that's you're giving elephants a human problem to solve. You're not giving them an elephant problem to solve. One time I was, I was, I was with a, I had a, a Jeep and it had a whole thing of bananas in it. And I was working with this elephant. He was a, he was a bandit. He had been mugging banana guys. There's a, a road that went through the jungle and this elephant was going out and he would stop them. He would stop the truck and then the other elephants would come and they would mug the banana guy. So by the time he got to where he was going, he wouldn't have any bananas. And so the Indian forest department had to show up and they like shackled this poor elephant. His name was Dharma. And they like threw him in elephant jail. I have a picture of elephant jail on there. Um, but he, one day he caught me with bananas and he came up to the Jeep and he was like, yo, bananas. And of course I'm looking up at him. I'm like, hey, I'm a good boy. But I, good boy. He like pushed me to the side. He was like, you don't call me good boy. That's elephant jail. Mm. Um, but yeah, he took the Jeep and he shouldered it, put it up on two wheels, made dead ass eye contact with me. And he was like, you going to give me the bananas or not? And I was like, well, just put the Jeep, just put, you know, I was in this, uh, suddenly I was in an argument that I couldn't win with an elephant. I was like, please put the, put the car down. He put the car down. And then I was like, come on, come over this way. He put it up. Eventually I had to give him the bananas or he was, he, and he was threatening me. He pushed it up just enough and stopped and looked at me. Wow. He was like, you want me to do this? <laughs> Cause it seems like you like it when it's this side up. But I don't know though. And I was like, it was, it was actually terrifying in that moment because I was like, I can't overpower you. I can't, like, threaten you with – there's, there's no way for me as a smart human to win this argument. And he just looked at me. And then he got his bananas. And then the next day when he did it, uh, my friend Neeti had a hack for it. She was the one who was really in charge of this. But she would go and take a cup of water and th throw it at his face. He would slap him in the – you know. He'd be like, I hate that. And then he'd, like, get upset and walk away. <laughs> but, but they really uh, – it's surprising, like Jane Goodall changed humanity, being like, uh, you know, she discovered that that animals use tools, and it's like you watch elephants; they use tools all day long, you know. Like I've seen an elephant like rip off a stick and like use that to scratch, and I'm like, oh, really? that's a good spot. Yeah, they're so they're just they're just brilliant. They're just brilliant. They Have know you where seen water is. those uh, videos of uh, elephants painting? <laughs> I'm skeptical already, but no. What are they painting? Never seen it. No, they taught an elephant to paint an elephant, and the elephant's literally painting a trunk. Really? And painting, yeah, it's impressive. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I just wonder what the incent. I mean, I guess like everything. Didn't they else. send us one? Mm -hmm. They sent us a painting that one of the elephants had made. A, a painting of an elephant by an elephant. They make things. Yeah. Like they, I don't know how they're teaching them how to make these shapes. I don't know if the elephant recognizes that it's making the image of yeah. an elephant, or if they've taught them to make specific shapes. 
I don't know what they do, but this here we'll, we'll show you a video. Okay. But these elephants take a paintbrush, they put it in their trunk, yeah, and they dip the paint and yeah. start working on canvas. I mean, I don't doubt it. I, honestly, I wouldn't put much past an elephant. And I mean, they they look at this. So here's this elephant. And they give this elephant, and this is all real video. I yeah. thought, like, is it, this is pre-AI shit, too. <laughs> so this elephant, he puts the paintbrush in the elephant's trunk, and the elephant walks up to the palette, come on, to come the canvas, on, and starts on. painting. Starts painting his girlfriend. Look at this. Also, look look at how dexterous that trunk is. Yeah. Look at the control that he has. And see, it's looking like it's it's creating something that mimics what what it is. And so this guy has to dip the paint for it. It gives it I back to the why. elephant. I wonder why the wonder why he dips the paint for him. Wow! Look at that. You can already see well, it. it's going to be an elephant. So the paint. I don't think the elephant totally understands it needs I more paint. You know, yeah. it knows when it gives it the brush, the paints on it. So that's what makes me look think. Look at this, man. Oh, look at that. He even has the, the mouth. Yeah, look at this. That's a better elephant than most people could draw. Yeah, better than like most kids for sure. Like, look at this. It's really incredible. But it's somehow or another, it's it's not being guided. <sighs> so it it knows how to yeah, do this. I, it just, my, my gut says that, that, that there's something gimmicky about this. I yeah. don't know. Yeah, like, I mean, you could train... You can train a lot of behaviors. But, right. But, but still, how is it training it to make these shapes, which is so specific? It's very specific. It's literally drawing itself. I would like an explanation. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, because it's really good. Like, look it how it makes elephant. it. It does the legs. The legs are proportionate. The yeah. mouth is good. The trunk is up. It's like, oh, I mean, God. Yeah. It no, but I, there was a... Did you did you cut that, Jamie? No, or I, just, did? I just I'm skipping ahead. Oh, okay, it's a okay, okay. Video. I was going to be like, I call bullshit because an eyeball. Yeah, don't up. skip ahead. Just let it play <laughs> out because let's, let's just take a look at how it, it's doing this. So now it's doing flowers. The re I read that it's it's they're trained to do this. Yeah, of course. But yeah, yeah, of course they're trained. But like, what is this thing seeing? Does Wait. it know that? I mean, you have to train a child to paint too. Wait, but you know they they use medicine. Like they've they've documented elephants eating plants that induce labor that African tribes use. And then they, they found the elephant doing it. There's published papers on this. What? Elephants use medicine. What? Yeah. What kind of plants that they find induce labor? I wish I remembered the name of it. I was just, re I was just looking this up because somebody told me and I didn't believe them. But there's, there's a plant that, that helps induce labor in some African tribes that they chew when mothers are like right on the cusp of giving birth. And this one researcher found elephants eating a ton of this stuff and then having babies and then went back and studied it again and again. Wow. 